Thank you very much, uh, Carola Njenga. Indeed, I am in uh, Kiricho County. And of course, we are here to bring you uh, live uh, updates of exactly what is happening here in Kiricho County. I'll just uh, give you details that actually matter in this county. And uh, for starters, is that this county has about 390,000 registered voters. Of course, uh, they will not be going, they will, all of them will not be participating in this exercise. However, what will be happening is that registered members of UDA are the ones who who are allowed to participate in this particular exercise. As you see behind me, uh, Karo, uh, the number of uh, registered members of UDA who are actually coming in this polling station, this is um, uh, 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 th this particular polling station where we expect Dr. Mutai to actually be casting his vote, uh, is at a very slow pace, and that has be been witnessed across uh, Kericho County. And uh, they've been coming in uh, just uh, one by one to cast uh, their votes, um, and uh, uh, the, those actually involved in this particular exercise are saying that they are confident enough that by the end of um, uh, today, uh, most of uh, the residents who are actually registered as UDA, UDA members will actually be, have, have actually cast uh, their votes in various polling stations across uh, this uh, particular county. When you look at um, the ballot boxes that we actually have uh, here, you can clearly tell that uh, a sizable number of uh, them have actually already cast uh, their votes and uh, that can actually be seen by uh, the number of ballot papers in the ballot boxes and of course they're saying that uh, they are confident enough that most of them will actually be coming uh, and uh, doing what is expected of, uh, what is expected of them in terms of um, identifying the person who will be flying the flag of uh, UDA in the general poll but uh, you'll be asking yourself why uh, the hall is um, almost empty and uh, my colleague will just try and show you the pictures outside uh, which, of course, uh, brings us into perspective of exactly what is happening here. Uh, you remember that uh, this is uh, largely an agricultural uh, uh, county, and uh, most of the locals are actually involved in uh, tea planting and tea plucking. And uh, as you can see on um, on your screen sir, right now, those are the locals who are actually busy in um, in their tea farms. Eh? Some are actually uh, uh, plucking tea and others are actually tending to the uh, tea plantation. And uh, we are told that uh, probably later in the day, most of them will actually be streaming uh, to various uh, polling uh, uh, stations across uh, this uh, uh, county so that then they can actually cast uh, their vote. However, Carol, I will just talk to one of uh, the people who have actually come here who are actually witnessing what is actually happening here at um, Chebagal uh, polling station. And of course, he will be telling us uh, how the process has been since morning and uh, what exactly they expect of the process as we go forward. Abadia Koban. Msurizana. Nambodi ambindi jenlako ni nani na umefika hapa sangapi kufanya shuguli ipi? Na itua Lawrence Kipto Cheruyot. Lawrence, niambi shuguli hii ilianza sangapi na hadi sasa inaendelea vipi na kiasi tunakomba watu hawako? Nini haswa inaendelea? Exercise ilianza sa kumi na mbili ya subuhi. Na imeendelea kwanjia njia msuri zana. Watu wanaendelea kukuja. Uh, kwanjia zubui, tu, tu, tumejudia watu wengi zana wenye wamekucha kupika kura. Sae, tunaona, sae, hakuna watu. Watu wanaendelea kukucha lakini kama watajelewa kidoko. Wengine wameenda kujuna jai lakini wana, wana kucha. Mm. 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 Tujia shudia visa vivyote ya kuashiria kwa mba pingine kutakuwa na utuvu usalama ama hali kama hiyo. Pingine hii ndio hali halisi ya wakazo eno hili. Kwa hii ama ni kwa mba uh, um, uh, kampeni hizi zimeendesha kwa njia amani kia si kwa mba wakazo eno hili wa mamuwa kwa mba shuguli yote itafanya kwa njia amani. Um, watu wetu wa wakuangu na mambo mengi sana. Wanakuanga watu wazuri. Si yati ni leo tupeke yake. Tunakuanga hifo kila wakati. Mm. Ya hapa tunajua ni nyumbani kwa daktari Dr. Mutai. Na tuna, tuko na watu wanapika kura kwa Dr. Mutai kuna hawa candidates wengine. Lakini hatuna mvurugu hatuna. Kila kitu kitakuwa sawa. Asante sana. Karo, of course that is what we've been um, uh, 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 listening to or hearing across uh, the county. Most of uh, those who've actually come to cast their votes have uh, insisted on the need of actually this exercise being carried out in a more peaceful manner. But Karo, this is also a very interesting uh, county. Just two, two days ago, we, for the very first time, of course, this is not the very first time it's happening in the country, 
but for the very first time in uh, this county we saw locals actually raising resources for a candidate so that then he can actually participate in this exercise and most of them have actually been saying that they want uh, this uh, exercise this exercise carried out in the most uh, peaceful manner the other thing is that we've seen other parties using digital format to actually cast their vote they have decided to use the manual procedure and uh, this uh, particular polling station we are told has about uh, 600 registered UDA, uh, uh, UDA members and uh, of course as we speak uh, right now a good number of them have already arrived here and uh, cast uh, their vote and as um, Silas has just said most of them are also still in the tea plantations of course tending to their farms and uh, we are expecting that in the course of the day most of them will actually be coming here so that then they actually participate uh, in this exercise. Of course uh, they, will be go they will be casting their votes to decide who will be flying their flags on um, a MCA ticket, they will also be doing so on a MP ticket and of course women rep ticket and uh, the governor's uh, uh, ticket However, the Senate, they will not be uh, participating in that exercise because we are told that the only one candidate who actually showed his interest in that particular seat on UDA ticket is Aaron uh, Cheriot. And of course, uh, that um, uh, 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 says that uh, probably he will be getting a direct ticket to, part to actually participate uh, in the next poll. But also important is... Um, that uh, the governor's seat has actually att attracted about uh, four candidates, among them Charles Keteri, the former uh, cabinet secretary for devolution and, of course, uh, energy. We also has uh, uh, we also have uh, the current uh, deputy governor, Lily Ngoka, and uh, we have Professor James uh, Sang. Uh, we have Dr. Erika Mutai uh, and uh, Fred Kirui. We also told that uh, Fred Kirui actually stepped down for Dr. Mutai, and, uh, of course, uh, that will be uh, giving a very very interesting uh, contest uh, going forward. So then we will be, of course, uh, uh, keeping it uh, locked here in Kericho. So then we actually give our viewers and listeners uh, uh, an accurate update of exactly what will be happening here. And at the end of the day, what uh, Kericho residents would have decided in terms of who is going to fly their, the UDA uh, ticket in various uh, posts across, uh, of course, uh, the line. Back to you, Carol Njenga.